Now, Hamish is here with some creative painting projects to keep you busy this week with the kids on school holidays. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, guys. This is of vital importance, keeping the kids busy. So uh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yes, so let's get into it. What did you do first? OK, so first of all, the, the kids got to go down to the Resine store. So that was uh, Connor, Autumn and Vienna. They were our subjects and artists. And uh, they went along, they got to choose their own uh, test pots, which is really cool. It was an exciting thing for them to do. And Resine has its own kids range. So the colours are kind of exciting. There they are. They got to pick them as they wanted off the uh, off the colour chart. That's very cool. Oh yeah, that's filled in half a day already, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's great. We'll well, stop for snacks. It's, yeah. it's a good opportunity for the kids to be creative. Yeah, nice. And good on Resine too for helping us out because this is brilliant. What did you have to do? Because you've got six different projects. What are we going to do? Are we go know. through them all individually? We worked the children hard, Mike. You did. <laughs> and got, they are brilliant artists as well. They key, are. Key word here is to inexpensive projects. Inexpensive mm. projects. Okay, the first one, uh, we'll call it brushless painting. So this is when you can go for a walk, you can go outside, you can find some stuff. The kids got flowers and all sorts of bits and pieces. And then you stick it on. Now, the key here is you'll see the pegs. Uh, very good for keeping hands clean. So you might get your uh, your daisy or whatever, uh, clip nice. it on with the peg and dip it in the paint and allow you to make your artwork. You've really? got a nice sample of it there, Mike. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, very pretty. And you can tell, you know, there's been some leaves used, there's been some flowers used. Yeah, yes. and I like it. looks like daisies at the top. It's very, very oh, cool. I love that one. Uh, very interesting. Let's move on to the next one, though. Um, marble. You used marble. Marble painting. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to get like an oven dish or you could use a wok, something that's not too deep. You get marbles, you dip them in the paint. How cool is that? Put them on and then you roll it backwards and forwards so as wow. it does the drawing on the paper. So, almost like those sputter uh, pictures you used to get at, yeah. the, um, at the Easter shows and stuff? That's right. Yeah. And I guess the depending on the different sort of shape of what you do. So if you use a wok, they all run into the middle. Yeah. So you get quite the different pattern, which is really cool. Cool. Little tip there, of course, um, have a bucket of water so you can take the marbles and drop them in to clean them. You don't want them going off piece across oh, the no, room. Right. Oh no, I love that idea. And I tell you what, some of the art, you know, you pay thousands of it's dollars for this type art. of art. You can't, yeah, that's the marble art there, and they're both marble art. Yeah, brilliant. I love it. That's the one done with the wok, I can tell. Because yeah. of the centre. And yeah. that's right, it's got the centrepiece in it. Nice work. Okay, the picture frame. Picture frames, okay, this is great fun because you once again get to go to a shop, so you can pop down to an op shop to go and find some prints. It's nice to get them if they've got like a glass or a perspexy top on the front and uh, away you go. You know, it's a limitless thing, really. You can sit down, you can grab some paint brushes, you can add to the scene, and it kind of gives you a bit of a 3D effect to the painting. That is a great idea, I love that. Yeah, that's really cool. And of course, it's already framed. You, it's got hooks on the back so you can hang it up on your wall. It's a, it's a quick and effective way. I like that one. It had a tui in the top corner. Oh, you know, that is cool art. See, see the tui, Mike? Oh, nice. I love it. And you're right, it gives it like a 3D perspective. It's cool, it's yeah. funky, it's affordable, and everyone's happy. I like it. Spanish moss in the tree. Who doesn't love Spanish Beautiful. moss? Beautiful. <laughs> now, your next project, what was that all about? Okay, I really like this one. Money box. Okay, so this is like a coffee jar or any kind of jar you can find. Obviously, it's going to have the lid on the top of it. You have fun here, you paint the inside of the jar so you get a nice smooth looking glossy sort of marbled effect to the outside of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun, and I like it too because it's educational. It's teaching kids to start saving so, money. Hang on, so that paint's on the inside. Oh, you paint it on the inside yeah. so it doesn't yeah. scratch off yeah. when, you, when yeah. you're handling yeah. it. And you get to fill it up. I, I love it. And kids watching, this is a great way to get mum and dad to give you some of their pocket money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made the money box, you helped me fill it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Next thing up, are you ready? Yeah. It's the clock, and nice. I love this because teaching and learning time is important. You can simply get a $2 clock, uh, you remove the backing, and uh, put a plain one in, and the kids get to add the numerals in it, and uh, you can hang it on the wall, so you get to learn about time as you go along. Yeah, true, and a lot of kids actually don't use a lot of those clocks nowadays. No, no, no. It's perfect. That's right, children, this is a clock. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it tells the time. <laughs> and I might get it up the right it way. It tells you when your fortnight time is up. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fortnight expires here. Okay, okay, and the last one, plates. I love this. So once again, from the op shop, you grab um, some cool sort of uh, retro plates which mm -hmm. have got some prints and bits and pieces on them. You paint the centre out uh, in, the, in a white fashion, okay? When doing that, that gives it a nice base. So you probably want to do that like the day before, you know, so it lets the kids really uh, have a go. There we go, they've got their white plates and away they go. And you can pretty much do anything you want creatively on the plate. 
if you want to while you're at the op shop, maybe it's a thing to look for is, you know, the old uh, plate stands? Yes. You know, yep. you know what they are? I do, yes. So you can put them on that or you have the things you put photographs on, but you can also get like uh, command adhesive stickers and bits oh, nice. that go on the back so you can actually hang them up on the wall, That'd which is cool. kind of fun. Nice bit of and art. the great thing is all these paints are applicable to all these surfaces, which is great. That's right. Yeah. They've held on really, really well. Nice, brilliant. And repurposing old stuff too for new, I like it. It is. It's a good idea. You did well, but can I also just say a very big thank you to Connor, Vienna and Autumn for their awesome help as well. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Good you work. Are really, really awesome. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Hamish. And if you're inspired, you can head into your local Resine store or you can get the look at resine.co.nz.